my god, look how adorable this is. Oh, Vermont is so pretty. Wow. a Vermont thing. Like if I think of Vermont, this is totally what I imagine. It's like a bunch of mountains around. Look how cute. Oh my god. Check out this farm. Button, Buttonwood Farms. I'm still in Chester, Vermont. And look at this gorgeous scenery back here. Everything's closed, but look how beautiful it is. Oh my god. Beautiful. Wow, look at this. I'm doing a hike in Vermont. <laughs> We're walking up a hill just to go check out the scenery. It's so pretty here. Come on, Franklin. <laughs> he always gets behind. Good boy, Frankie. Oh, this is Vermont. complete silence and all you hear are the birds. I gotta just film this. Look at this barn. And then we've got these buildings here in the front. Look at this old barn. beautiful sky, these beautiful houses here, the architecture is just so lovely, everything is lovely here, and look at this house with these beautiful windows, oh, oh my god. But what they do is they pass the cans through the wall. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Yeah, there was, can't so they're really passing. see it. So the milk, the milk cans ever they were filled were sitting here in running water wow. until they were taken down to the creamery down the road. And then, oh, there's another hatchway on the other side. But, you know, they had the big hay hooks. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah, that's not the original door then. Well, that down there is an original door. But uh, the trolley, let's see, the, 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 the beam going across the ceiling, I believe, is still in this thing. The hay hooks. Wow. Taking a little walk on the, um, the lodge that I'm staying at. And I saw this beautiful little pond down here. So I'm going to go check it out, take some photos. I'm, on, I'm staying on Magic Mountain. So it's very appropriate for me because 
I live in a magical world. <laughs> I drove by earlier and thought these were real swans. They are not. Look at the grass is so beautiful. Look at these houses back there. Oh, this is incredible. Good morning. I'm in beautiful Vermont. Um, checking out Lowell Lake State Park, which is actually that way. However, the locals here are so wonderful. Everyone's so excited that I've come from the deep south <laughs> to their lovely northern um, heaven up here. And so they told me um, not to go to the lake first. I mean, I could, but to go to this little path because there are some old graves um, from the Civil War era, era hidden up in here. So I'm going to check it out. I really hope that's the case. I mean, oh my God, that would be amazing to see up here in Vermont. So we'll see how it goes. I just love how green everything is here. Look at this house. Franklin, this place is so green. Franklin's never seen this much green in his life. He's from Texas. So crazy all of these abandoned houses up here. I wonder, I can tell people are blocking the road with branches, trying to deter others from coming in. Not gonna happen. These old cabins, look at this one. Oh, I wonder if that's the original outhouse. This is so crazy. Look at this outhouse here. There's a little shed, this massive house here. Everything closed and boarded up. And then there's this house. How the hell do you get to that house? Oh my God, there's so many houses here. What? What the hell? Wow. Oh my God, there's a whole bunch of deserted houses. Whoa. So there are all these abandoned cabins, which I am climbing up to see. I don't know why they're all closed. <laughs> Someone really blocked it off. Look at the outhouse there. Damn, I cannot get through here. Um, ha, I made it. Look at that old ass outhouse in the middle of the forest. Insane. Oh my God. This is really something. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my God, uh, I opened it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. I opened it. Insane. Okay, time to close it. What? Uh. Okay. Wow, this 
this is just a whole row <laughs> of abandoned cabins. This is, there's like at least 10. Look at all of them. Oh my God, this one's open. Ooh, I haven't seen an open one yet. What is the deal? What? Whoa. Gorgeous view of the lake, though. Oh, careful, Frankie. I Whoa. Come, Franklin. Good boy. Well, so far, I haven't found any graves, but the guy didn't tell me that there's a whole abandoned village at this park. So I have no idea what the history is. I'll have to ask the people in the front. I'm still trying to find the graves. I really hope I'll find them. And if not, then this was cool too. Where are we going, Frankie? Where are we going? So, I got in trouble for having Franklin off the leash. <laughs> As usual. But at least I asked them where the graves are, and they are by the dam. So now, I need to figure out where the dam is. I can't get enough. Okay, there's way more than 10 houses. I think there's like 20, maybe 30. Every single one abandoned. This one's about to cave in. Look, there's like five more down here. And look how clear this water is. Wow. Wow. Oh, damn. Is this the dam? This is the dam. Where are the graves then? This must be the dam. Um, oh my god, I found it up this hill. And it was by the dam. Lava Lake Cemetery. Wow. Oh my god. Look at these ancient graves. anything on them. Revolutionary War veteran. Died. Age. I can't see. What does it say? In the 62nd year of his age. Seven dead in 1790. Wow.
Find some graves way up there. Wow, this is really incredible. Really something. To see things like this that have been here for centuries. Time for swimming. Wow. This is gorgeous, Vermont. Look at this. Wow, perfect for swimming. Incredible. Oh my God, what a beautiful swim. I just love that I got here so early. There's some families here, but there's really that not, not that many people, so it's nice. Um, there's so many other things to do, so I gotta, I gotta keep going. I can't just stay here all day because I've got, this is my last full day in Vermont and then I've got to go to Maine. So time to head out and go to other places. to film this area because this is just like exactly how I pictured Vermont to be. So green with these beautiful houses and trees. Look at this. I love it. Having a little lunch. Everyone told us I needed to come to Honey Pie and just having a very Vermont scenery lunch on the ground with delicious lamb sausage. Oh, very good, thank you, very yummy. Oh, so pretty. Look how gorgeous. Ugh, what? Just this view is incredible. Ugh, these houses with their lake views. Gorgeous. Well, pond views, it's a pond. Look at this cute bridge. Oh, so cute. Wow. is some sort of river in Jamaica State Park. Damn, that water's going fast. Whoa. houses up here are massive. That's easily like a seven bedroom house. But I actually wasn't stopping for the house. I was stopping for these birds. What are these birds? Look at these guys. Are these turkeys? Pheasants? So cool. 
Look at that. And this beautiful hillside in Grafton. And it's beautiful. And no one's here. The entire town is closed. It's so weird. But it's gorgeous. believe I've been staying here and I haven't even like gone to <laughs> check out the mountain. There's the ski hill. Another lodge there. It looks totally empty though. I don't know if I'm gonna make it because that's very steep but look at this view. Oh, good boy, Franklin. Wow, what a mountain dog. <laughs> I wanted to go to the top, but this grass is very long. Um, there's no path here. I was following one before, but oh, this is very tick land style. I just have so many tick bites now. But, okay, I can't stop here. I need to get into a... There we go. Oh. And Frank, good boy, Frankie. But this is really thick. <laughs> thick woods. Not my brightest moment. Um, I just hope <laughs> Franklin will be fine back there. Um, okay, here it better. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's like straight up. Ooh. All right, cutting it short here. There's so many bugs on me. Yes, beautiful view. Not many people get this view. And there's some more tall ass grass all the way to the top. I'm not even at the top. I guess I'm halfway, a little more than halfway. Wow. I'm glad I did this because I have to leave tomorrow and I would have regretted it so much. But the bugs up here, uh, definitely because of all the tall grass, um, are awful. And it's like 6.30 or something. So time to go back down, but just look at that. It's just magical. The problem with doing these hikes every time I'm on some mountain that is not, doesn't have a path and I'm just going through. I always come home with a random bug in my hair, but not just like a little bit, like a beetle bug thing every single time. And then I don't know it's in my hair because I don't really brush my hair, it's just kind of whatever. And then I'll be driving and it will slowly start crawling across my forehead. This has happened like three times. And now I hear bugs buzzing around my head so I'm just trying to like shake it out <laughs> it's awful